In the cold silence of space, two worlds wait for us, both distant, both promising, both mysterious. Mars, the red planet. Titan, Saturn's golden moon. Mars has captured human imagination, a world just close enough to touch, yet harsh enough to resist us. Its rust-red deserts stretch endlessly beneath a salmon sky. Once long ago, rivers flowed here. Vast oceans shimmered across its surface. But today, Mars is dry. Its air is thin, less than 1% of Earth's atmosphere, made mostly of carbon dioxide. Dust storms can swallow the entire planet for months. Temperatures plunge to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit at night. And yet, Mars feels familiar. Its days are nearly as long as ours. Its gravity, though weaker, could sustain human movement. And beneath its frozen poles lies something extraordinary. Ice. Water ice. Where there is water, there is hope. Nearly a billion miles farther, beyond Jupiter's realm. Orbits Titan, Saturn's largest moon. And one of the strangest worlds we know. Titan has clouds, rain, rivers, lakes, and even seasons. But its rains are not of water. They are of liquid methane. Its rivers flow with hydrocarbons. And its lakes shimmer under a golden haze that blocks out the sun. Here, temperatures never rise above minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. And yet Titan is the only other body in our solar system with a stable atmosphere. Thicker than Earth's, a sky of nitrogen and methane envelopes the moon like a protective cloak. In many ways, Titan is what early Earth might have looked like billions of years ago, before life began. Beneath Titan's frozen crust lies an ocean, a vast, dark sea of liquid water mixed with ammonia. Scientists believe it could be deeper than any ocean on Earth and grow crops under artificial light. If heat from Saturn's tidal forces or Titan's rocky core stirs this ocean, it could provide the perfect conditions for primitive life. Meanwhile, on Mars, new data suggests that briny underground lakes might still exist beneath the surface, protected from radiation and cold. Two worlds, two hidden oceans, and two possible cradles for life. 